morning, guys. It's uh, 28 degrees today. It's uh, Wednesday, and we are walking to Horseshoe Bend. We were here last night for a pretty sunset. I'll link the video right here so you guys can check that out. But this morning we thought we'd try out Sunrise. So uh, we're here and then we'll probably either go explore the dam close by, like Powell, try to find a trail. And then my beautiful wife here booked us a slot canyon tour um, on Lower Antelope Canyon for one o'clock today. So we'll be doing that in just a few hours. So it's gonna be a busy day and uh, hope you guys can join us, check it out and we'll be at the canyon soon. So we got here at about 6.35. The park officially opened at 6.45. It says sunrise to sunset on the website, dusk to dawn. It's $10 to get in. And you wanna park in row five because that's where the trail is and that is the closest spot that you could park to the trail. If you get here in the morning before sunrise, that's okay. They'll like open the gates for you. But if you get here after sunset, you won't be able to get in. Yeah, so if you're here, let's say at 6.30 and you pay to get in, you can stay up until 10 o'clock at night. However, when we were leaving last night, just after the sun set, we saw a few people trying to drive in, but they had already closed the gates. So that's just something to know if you wanna come here. people here this morning -uh. yep. yeah there are a few more on the way but uh we get the camera set up and uh try to do a time lapse and take some photos and yeah enjoy this uh sunrise made it to the top the highest rock here I guess so if you guys come in the trail leads right down there you see where the thing is at the very top that little tent yeah so you guys come down the trail and then you got the first overlook down there and then you're able to work your way around and we're up here on the rocks sunrise photo mission was a success Uh, now we got a little bit of time before our Slot Canyon tour at one o'clock, so we're gonna see if we could book a dam tour here in town. I guess the only way to do it is to... You have to go to the, a visitor center and you have to book it in person. They say they only take about 20 people per tour and they usually run tours every 30 minutes in the, um, the high season, but in the low season, I think they only do four tours a day. Uh, you can book up to 24 hours in advance, but you have to go in person to do it. Yeah, so we're on our way there now, and then we'll be heading to uh, the canyons, which are the slot canyons, which we're super excited about. So uh, we'll see you guys there. Had a little time to kill so we decided to hike hanging garden trail which is just right up the road from the dam and uh it's only about a mile um i couldn't imagine doing this walk on a hot summer day it's 44 degrees outside it wouldn't be worth it on a hot summer day no nah, it wouldn't be worth it it is really beautiful at the end it's i mean it's just totally different than the hot dry sand uh and rocks it is like a little cove with some ferns and it's um, nice and shaded, so I guess it would be like, hello. hello, it'd be some good solace on a hot day, but like to hike all the way out there, it's not worth it. 
two hours later. What's up guys? We're here at Ken's Tours in Lower Antelope Canyon. And uh, Becca's already inside, but I'm just gonna walk in and meet her, just ran out to the car. Our tour, it's one o'clock. Our tour starts at 1.30. Now you're not supposed to bring GoPros in there for some reason, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me because you can bring other recording devices and cell phones with you. But um, I'm gonna try to give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek on our tour. And so yeah, let's get going. guys so today's canyon tour was absolutely amazing it was beautiful um probably one of the greater experiences that i've had in my life or at least one of the most beautiful experiences and one of the most breathtaking places yeah it was really unique it wasn't like anything else um it was really nice because our tour group was really small and we got a little bit of extra time in the canyon because it was the off season mm -hmm. um, if we were to do it again we would have booked an upper canyon tour too but we only did a lower canyon still gorgeous if you only have time to do one do it if you're in page arizona this is the number one thing to do for sure yeah for sure um, and then horseshoe <laughs> yeah and then horseshoe bend <laughs> but uh the clips that i was able to get you're not supposed to bring a camera in there so lamar our tour guide sincerely i'm i'm sorry um <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't help ourselves we did sneakily take a little bit of footage if you guys book, go with Lamar. He's amazing. Uh, like she said, he helped us with a lot of shots. I think I took 300 photos. So um, we'll link our Instagram accounts here as well. So you guys can check out both of the shots that we got today. And the tour group we went with was Ken's tour. Mm -hmm. Ken's Lower Antelope tour. Yeah, and, Ken's um, tours. It was amazing. And the only other Lower Antelope Canyon tour is by his sister, Dixie. Mm -hmm. So they're both awesome, either one you go with. Also fun fact, he discovered uh, this canyon. He's owned all this land out here, but he's discovered this canyon in 1994. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it got popular in the 2000s. They used to do photography tours in there, but now um, you just gotta keep it moving. In the summer, he said that there's a ton of people, but if you come, come in the off season, it's been gorgeous today. It's probably the best part of our day. And then we ended it with this beautiful drive around Lake Powell. And uh, we're just gonna go get some dinner now. And tomorrow we head to Bryce Canyon. So we will see you guys then. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up guys and subscribe to the channel for more videos to come. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.